Howdy folks, welcome to episode 35. Today we're going to see if we can build our little thingy over to the the thingy to the thingy. Yeah, we're going to see if we can build our track that goes over to the uh, to the the oil place. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where where this is that we can stay level or whether or not we want to go up a little bit. So I think that's going to be the key here. And it looks like we do need to go up a little bit if we're going to... Apparently there's a... Here. See if we can come back this way. Okay. So where are we? I just completely lost where I'm looking. <laughs> the trees. The trees are totally destroying my sense of where I am. Okay. So we're looking that way. Okay. So we want to come down here somewhere. And we want to come around this thingy. I'm not sure how far we can go out. I mean, it's 500 meters, so it should be fairly significant. It looks like that's the limit there. No, it's still going. It's still going past that. Okay, so let's do this too. We're going to change our angle here and see if it'll... Let me, let me see if we can do that from the external view. No, it's not going to do it. Okay. All right, it's not going to let me see what the angle is, the new angle is. But yeah, we need a piece of track that's going to be over here. So I think what we can do is, let's just right click, we'll close that off. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of track over here. Because we need to come around that corner and then be facing like this way. So we'll figure out where we need to be up here. So we'll just start about here. Maybe a little bit more this way. There we go. And then we're going to come out to that way. And we'll come around this hill. And we don't need to go up at all. Let's see where the, where the oil... There it is. Okay. I just need to find the oil platform. Um, that's not even the oil platform there, is it? It's up here. What is that? Oh, that's the... That's the... Okay, that's the... Where the oil comes out and where the oil is dispensed. So what we need to do is we need to get up to here. So let's get this angle here. If we can. It can't be that far, can it? Is it really that far? That it doesn't want to do that? Or is it because... Yeah, I don't know. There. Okay, so apparently it's about there. And that doesn't look like it's going to be our angle, does it? I need to check and see, because I think this is going to be at zero. Our heading is going to be at zero for that. So we need to see if we can come up this way and be at a heading of zero at about here. There we go. Okay. So then what we can do is, once we've got this in place, let's see where this goes. See what that looks like. Whoops. Because <laughs> this is just our measurement, basically. And then what we need to do is go back to the other place and, and line that out too. So let's go over to here. And now what I could do is I could just paint a smooth line on, a, on my map using the, the tree painter and clear out the trees first. But I didn't want to do that this time. So let's go like this. I think we're going to be at 90. All right. And what we want to do is I think we want to put a switch in here somewhere. And I'm trying to decide how I want to do that. Because we do want to, we do want to be able to hook up these two sides. So let's go like this, and I think we want to come out smooth. I'm not sure if this is one piece or two. So let's go like this. See if we can. We can do a smooth little curve like this first. All right, we're gonna get rid of this piece here. It is one piece. Okay, because I wanted to put in switches here. And I don't want to 
do that before I know where everything is going to be. So we're going to put in a switch that goes right and it connects to that. Let's go like this. <laughs> nice. Okay. Is it going to let me connect there? There we go. So we've got a switch that goes out that way just so that we can have another siding on there. And then we want one that goes out to the left here, right? To our left and comes out this way. And let's go like down to 180. Let's see if we can get it to connect. It's this one here. Should be at 90, right? Is it going to let me connect? Is it that one? There we go. All right, cool. Okay, so I just wanted to get that. I kind of think we should put that a little bit further out. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, no, that'll still we can still drop stuff off from there if we need to or load stuff onto the cars if we need to when the thing is going to the on the switch. Okay. That was the thing I wanted to make sure we didn't end up with the problem I wanted to avoid. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Where's the It's not showing me the thing. Oh, it's because I need the groundwork under it apparently. It's too far off the ground. I don't know the limit on that one must be really low. There we go. Okay, so let's make sure our switches are going the right way so that when we run a train through here we're not running into problems yet. <laughs> That's for later. We'll save those problems for later, right? Okay, so this piece here, we want to demolish this piece here too because we don't want this on here anymore. I'm hoping we don't have any cars that, that sit there, right? <laughs> okay. I don't think we had any cars sitting there that we deleted out. So we'll go like this, and we're going to bring... You know what? We might need the, the taller one. But we're going to bring... This one's going to go around, so this is the one we want to do. Because the other one's going to be the go-around, right? And then where is that? Where's our other end? It's right here. Okay, there's our our smooth spline. Okay, because what I'm thinking is we should probably bring this out more to give this room, because this is such a tight curve. We do have another thingy here, right? Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Let's go like this. And we're going to do a fixed curve. We're going to go curve mode, circle mode. And then we're going to go like this. So let's see what our 30 meter. I don't think the 30 meter is even going to make it. Let's see. See if a 30 meter can do it. Barely, right? Okay, so we have a little bit of room. So let's hook this one up with 30 meter. And we're going to go like this. Wow, that's even more. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we need to come out a little bit. All right. So we do need to extend this one. Go like this. We're going to do 30 meter. And then we'll come out to here. See where it looks like it's going to be smooth is the trick, right? Okay. And then we should be able to just hook this up like this. There we go. 
Okay. So we've got our little loop. All right, we do have room for it because it's not going to help to to do the other thing anyway. All right. And then we can get rid of this piece of track here. And that one. Okay, and we don't have anything smaller sitting there. All right. So this is going to be like last time where we had where we had this turnaround. I think we had a thing coming off of there, but we can make we can take this section and this section and we can put another switch coming out of there that goes to the that goes to this way because that way we can come in and go out and and depending on whether or not we back in or back out or whatever we can um, turn the train around you know what I mean we have a, a Y basically we have an effective turnaround for that if we can do that if we can keep it like that so this segment I think needs to come down in order to meet with this but what we want to do is we want to take a segment that comes off of here and we want to leave room for a switch also so let's go like this we're gonna put a switch we're gonna do the switch first and switch left and I, is this at zero is that what it was 180 does 180 look like it's it might be even 181 <laughs> okay yeah it looks like 181 okay so if we put this right up here that should give us a member we had to leave room whoops of course right up there perfect okay so if we put that there now we have our straight piece of track I don't think that's gonna let us is it no it's not gonna let us put that there because it's gonna be up in the air so let's go like this we're gonna do this piece here we're gonna come around to one a heading of one and then we're gonna do this There we go. We're going to do a straight shot. You know what? It looks like it needs to come over, doesn't it? Okay. So we're not going to do a perfectly straight shot. Take this back out. We're going to go like this. We're going to come over a little bit. There we go. And then we'll do a straight shot. And it looks like this one is at a different heading doesn't it all right and we'll put that there and then we'll have another section coming out here that goes a longer distance so we'll figure out what we want to do there we'll put switches on there or whatever but we just want to kind of reserve that space Is this we're not gonna be going fast through here anyway so that should be fine and then what we can do here let's get rid of this tree couple of these trees just so we can see a little bit better what we're doing so they're not in our face as we're doing this all right so what we want to do is we want to take out these two sections and we're just gonna put it doesn't need to be perfectly straight anyway so we're just gonna put in this and connect it to this is it gonna let me yeah there we go I thought we cut this tree down. <laughs> All right, let's see how that looks. Because, yeah, we'll be able to drop off our tools here. We'll be able to drop off the tools, and then we'll come in, and we'll be able to drop off the beams and the steel pipes. All right. Cool. Is it going to let me? There. And then we've got some stuff over here that we're going to need to... This is going to need to be able to to do a switch. The oil is going to be coming from. Let me see. Oh, the oil is going to be going out, and the oil only goes one direction. It only goes to the refinery. So we don't care about trying to merge this track into this track on this side. So we can do that on the opposite side. Okay. All right. So then what we've got here is we should have 
this piece and we should be able to go like this and hook this up to down here wherever this is is it is it right down here I think we just need to delete the other piece don't we so we can see where it is but yeah it's just it's right down here Let's see if we can which way is that going is it gonna reach oh we were like at the very end of that weren't we okay so we might have to put two segments in here so what we'll do is we'll take out this piece here and then we need to go I probably shouldn't have taken that out yet <laughs> all right let's go like this and we're gonna start out at that and then we're gonna go to that let's take out where's our where's our track there it is why is it doing that okay and then we need to come down a little bit in order to match up with this other piece Is that the one? No, this is the this is the piece. Okay, so we need to come up near here, and then we can do this sort of deal because we don't want to be so low to the ground. We can come up to here, see where that is. It should be it should be lined up here somewhere. Is that the piece right there? I think that is. Okay. Let's see how this looks. What kind of curve we get out of this. Is it coming out just a little bit? Yeah, it's coming out just a little bit. That's fine. All right. And then this should be able to hook up with our... Oh, we went too far. We went too far south or north, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. So you know what? We're going to do this instead. We're going to take wall track and we're going to put it at this heading. And then we need to, why isn't it letting me change the incline? Do I have to start first before I can change the incline? Okay. There. So we're going to come out this way. We're going to do straight line mode. We're just going to do this for a measuring mark so that we know where to where our parallel line is so we're going to do that we're going to take this piece back out again and then we're going to come out from here with our track and then we'll come down to the other level so that's going to go like I thought it was at zero. Yeah, there we go. Our heading was one for that. So we're going to go like this, come back down here till we hit this, and then we'll see where we can hit our heading of one. So we're going to turn that back on. There we go. And then we'll come down here. And I think we can... Did we did we have the ability to do quarter? No, nope. it it used to do quarters, didn't it? Let's see how that looks. Remember, we used to be able to do percent a uh, quarter of a percent. I think we used to be able to do that because yeah, this is a little bit wobbly, wibbly, wobbly here, <laughs> but that's fine. It's not like it's not like it's super crack the whip type of type of thing or anything okay so demolish rails we demolish the that there and then we're gonna go like this 
and this should just go straight into here. There we go. Okay, so then we should be able to bring this. I like our little wavy track here. <laughs> now what we could do is we could do this and connect to the end here. And it would be fine too if we just do this. Let's see how that looks. Because it's not too close. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. And we'll get rid of these. There we go. Okay. So we should be able to bring a train down here from the other way. And then we should be able to connect this one. Let's do walls again just so that we can measure where we're going. And we're going to connect this wall from this section to the other one that was down this way somewhere right it's down in here somewhere there it is you see it now let's go like this let's see what that looks like I mean, it looks like we can just hook up a straight piece of track. We don't need the wall for that. Okay. I think we can just do that without the wall. Okay. Let's just do it then. Demolish rails. And then we're going to connect the regular three-foot rail. We're going to go back in this way. It's in here somewhere. Because <laughs> then when we do our tree thing, it'll... There we go. When we do our tree automated tree removal, it'll remove those. And apparently I started digging in that way <laughs> with the trees. So see, I wasn't even going the right way. Okay. And then we've got, um, we need to put in a little bit of this down here just so that we can connect this other thing via the here, we'll put this up here and is this going to be at a heading of zero or one sure that looks good so then this is going to go this way up to about here and then where is our end of our track there okay so do we want to make this one hook into that one yeah let's go like this we're gonna put in a switch that goes this way is that the right connection point that's that connection point there we go okay it just it didn't seem like it wanted to go to that connection point okay so this one's gonna go here we're gonna meet up with this one and then it's gonna meet up again well no we'd have to have a crisscross to do that huh yeah I'm not sure because this is going to have to have a thing that comes out this way. I'll have to look at how we did that on the last on the last track. Because what we want is we want a switch that comes out here that we can um, that we can loop. So let's go like this. We're going to put a piece of track straight in this direction. And that's going to be whatever that is. And we're going to come out this way. And then we're going to put a switch here that branches off. That's going to be a left switch. Whoops. Drink. <laughs> 
It's going to be a left switch with the switch on the right hand side. Switch left. There we go. We want that one and we're going to go like that. There we go. We want that one. So then what that's going to let us do is that's going to let us make a big loop out here and then come back. So we should be able to do this. Let's go like this. Might as well put that in. We're doing a bunch of this building here. So we're going to go to a um, probably 60. Whoops. Let's try 80. See what we get here. Because I know there's a... Um, there's like a... Uh, Where'd it go? Yeah, great. We got to go back. There's a hillside that we're going to run into if we don't do this right. Where'd the piece go? Here it is. So I'm thinking we need to stay within a certain. Let's try 70. That was interesting. Why is it going outward? Length. Shouldn't the constant radius not do that? <laughs> okay. But let's try 70. See where this leads us. It's interesting. Did you see the dust over there where it placed it? Okay, and I think we are about where we need to be. So let's go like this and let's lay a piece of wall just so we can see where we're at. And we're going to take off that. Is it going to let me? There. That's what we need to do. So we need to come out this way. I can't tell that from the other thing. Where's our switch? See, this is why I wanted to put a switch, the, the switch a ways back. Yeah, see, our switch is going to be here. So we need to come out this way. Okay. Yeah, I need to, like, draw a loop. I should just draw a loop in the, <laughs> in the trees, right, and then make the track match it. Um, try this again. Wall is going to be like this. We're going to start here. And we're going to go out to this. That's a 70. Because we could come a little bit sharper, I think. Let's see where what our heading is here. So we need a compass here so we can tell what our heading is. Is it showing it on here? We're going straight south on the map. So it should be at a two about here. Oh yeah, I think I see the track up here, up ahead. Okay, so that needs to go sharper. All right, yeah, you know what? We'll leave that as it is and we'll just paint in, we'll just paint in on the trees where we wanna remove stuff, which means I also can't auto remove the trees, right? Okay, so we should be able to um, get all this cleaned up in the editor and then come back. And then we're gonna run, um, we're gonna build a boxcar setup. So yeah, let me go back into the editor. I'm gonna clean up these trees and then we're gonna make a, uh, we're gonna make a boxcar train that we can bring down here. So I will be back in just a minute. All right, we're in the editor. We're gonna paint this up. And I need to zoom in here, find our spot. Yeah, it looks like, see the nice thing is I can add in the trees where we screwed up, right? I can add those back in if I want to. So we're gonna add some trees. Do a 10 meter radius. We'll add these trees back in here so that they're not all missing. That way we have our legit woods too, right? 
And we can do that here as well because we removed a bunch of them there. There we go. If it'll let me. Okay, and then we're going to do 15. Should we do the auto tree on here? I think we did 15 last night and it was too much, or last time that is. Um, let's move this down a little bit and see if maybe we can should we remove let's try removing these manually and we'll paint out our little track here and then we're gonna have to walk the track again to make sure I should just do auto tree and then <laughs> remove extra ones but so one of the other things I wanted to do for the fun of it was make a um, a tree thinning I think I mentioned that last time yeah, let's do auto tree here. Just let it do those. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's much nicer. I think maybe I'm doing a radius on one and a diameter on the other. I'm not sure. Okay, this switch is way too far forward. That's the problem here. I think that's the problem we've got here. Look at where this switch is. It's way too far forward. We need to move the switch way back to here. Or back to here or something so this needs to come let's remove trees let's do this so you can see better so this needs to come back to here so we need to put a switch that's the only way we're gonna be able to get across here too is we're gonna have to have a switch here there's gonna need to need to be one here and that's gonna come out to here there we go, and then we'll add the trees back in over here. That's so cool that you can just put them back in. I didn't mean to delete that. Undelete it, undelete it. Okay, um, remove these right here. So this is going to come across to there, and then this is going to meet up with there. So we need a switch here and a switch here. So this segment's going to have to come out. Now, what I want, one of the other things I want to do is be able to split these and stuff. But I think I mentioned that. So it looks like we're good on that. Um, and I can save this. I'm just going to remove these in the game, I think. But yeah, it looks like we got everything we needed to put in there. Let's check out our, our thingy over here. That looks nice. Okay. All right, yeah, so I'm going to save this to slot three. There we go. And I will meet you back in the game. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of these. We'll get rid of the locomotives. There we go. Oh, I didn't add in my speed, apparently. <laughs> I need to do that, too, because this is, like, painfully slow, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's find our... Here, I'm going to go on the map in this one. Because if I do it in the other one, it pops up and it's weird. Okay. We'll go cheats movement. Okay. All right. So now let's walk the track just to make sure that everything, all the trees cleared out where they said they did and all that stuff. So, and we'll double check our switches here. Our switch is good here. Switches. Actually, now we want this to be that way. So that when we come around here, we'll go to the oil. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. See, we can we can take this segment and move it. We can take this point and move it out. That'd be nice to be able to do that in the editor, wouldn't it? You can't move them vertically, but if you got stuff on flat ground, it should be able to do it pretty well. Okay, so we need to take out this segment here, which is a seg straight segment anyway. And then we're going to put a switch that goes out for the oil, right? The oil trains are going to need to go out through here. So we're going to need a switch that goes off to the... Huh, that was weird. Okay, we're going to need a switch that goes off 
the other way. It's going to be a switch that goes to the left like that and then we're going to have to do this there okay so that's going to be the one that goes off to the oil let's make sure yeah that it's on the right on the right direction and then this is going to come in from the other side whoops drink <laughs> That's going to be a switch to the left again with the switch on the left. Okay. So it's going to be this one, and we're going to do that there. Okay, so that's going to be the one that connects to over here. Okay, and then this will we just reconnect to here. Is it going to let me? There. All right. So we just need to get our little loop here, our loop set up, and we'll do this one, and we're going to go like this. Let's try, whoops, Let's see what will get us to here. We want to be, we want it to point this way there we go and then this should go mostly straight maybe a little bit yeah there we go need to jump again okay and then this is going to go this way see what'll get us to about parallel with that I'm kind of thinking from here to there we might just be able to turn off the circle mode and let it let it find the best spline right let's see what that does Yep, that looks pretty good. Okay. So when we come through here, we want this one to be this way. Okay. And then we have this coming back down here. I almost want this to merge into that, you know? It'd be nice if it could to do the turnaround. Really should do that, shouldn't we? <laughs> All right, let's go like this. I just want to add some more track on here so that we can bring a train down here and to unload and stuff. And it's not like all. Let's just go like this. We'll do straight line. We're going to do straight line coming out here just so that we have room to unload a train if we need to. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it would be nice to have that this connect into that loop too. But the trick is, yeah, see that, that switch over there is kind of weird too, isn't it? Oh yeah, we could do that. We could make that s switch into that. You just have to go so far down there to get past it in order to do that. So I don't know. Maybe we'll curve that one off to the right and let it do that. But yeah, it's it's way too much backing up and flipping switches and that kind of stuff. Okay, this doesn't need to... Oh, you know what? We do need another switch over here, don't we? Okay, let's do one more switch here. We need a switch that comes off to the left with a switch on the right. There we go. And then this should let us connect these two again. Is it going to... Oh, I've got it on the straight line thing. That's why. There we go. And then we can connect this one 
to this one. How's that look? Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, and then this just needs to go away. And even this switch can even go away, can't it? Yep, we don't need this switch here. Unless we want to put a siding there. Yeah, let's put a siding there. Why not, right? So we're going to go like this. Okay, that was weird. It clicked twice. Let's try get rid of that. Let's try this again. And then we're going to come parallel to this. We could switch that switch to the other way and have this be a, like a little siding there, couldn't we? All right, and then we're just going to have this come up to parallel with this. See if that, yeah, that works pretty well. Okay. And have it come this way. There. All right. I think that's plenty plenty good there. Okay. So we've got everything. This needs to go to this way for future use. And then we need to put together a train. This one's going to be off to the oil, which we had signs. Then we could really do that. Yeah, I think this is going to be what I use my um, editing tester thing for. I think that's what we'll do. So I want to be able to move the spline points in the editor. So this is going to be what we're going to use to test that. So anyway, yeah, let's go back to the thingy and put our train together. So I need to go onto the map. Whoops. <laughs> onto the map. Need to teleport over to the home. All right. And then we should be able to throw together our locomotive. How much money do we have? We have 9,900 and how much do the box cars cost? Let's see how much the box cars cost. They cost a thousand a piece. Okay. I think we might keep whatever engines we have. What engines do we not, did we not buy yet? I think is the question. We don't have our Eureka yet, do we? And how much did that cost? 3000 We have a Glenbrook. I don't want to use the Climax on that yet. We'll save that. We don't have a Cook, but that costs 4300 I thought I had more money than that. Okay. Yeah, you know what we'll do is we'll use the engine. Um, let's get the boxcars. And... We're going to paint each one of them differently. Let's call this number one. All right, and we're, we'll order. We're going to paint each of these different, and we'll just use one of the engines that we already have to move these until we do one load, and then we'll be able to afford a better engine. So we'll do, really wish this would stay on whatever you were doing, because how many, how often do you, uh, you know what I mean? All right. How often do you uh, uh, buy different kinds of cars? You know, when you're buying cars, you usually buy multiples of the same thing. There we go. Number three. And then we're going to do order number four. Whoops, box car. And we'll do paint number four. We're going to try all the little paint jobs. All right, and then number five. Let's see how many paint jobs they have. They have seven. Okay. Five. Number five. And then one more. And then we can start putting those on the they don't have yellow box cars on this, do they? All right. 
close that off. We're going to re-rail, and we need to take the brakes off of these. Oh, do we need to go up there to get the... I think we do need to go up there to reach the brakes, don't we? <laughs> it just teleports you up there. It's so disorienting. Okay. Rerail boxcar. Can we get to that? There. Much better. Okay. Rerail boxcar. Alright, and we're going to put the clippies on the back. And then rerail boxcar. We'll put the clippies on the back. Rerail this one. Whoops, I meant to do that. Put the clippies on the back. Okay, let's take the brakes off of these. Whoops. and get the brakes off. I don't think you could do that on the regular movement mode. I think this is on the fast running. Okay. Rerail. Let's go down this way. Whoa! <laughs> that was great. All right. And is that far enough? I think that's far enough. That's far enough. <laughs> All right. There. We should be able to uh, hook these up. Let's see. Is this going to pick us up? Yeah, it will. Good. We'll get these. There. Where's the next one? There. Did it go? It looks like it's hooked up. All right, and then let's get this one. Because the, oh, whoops. The thing is they'll stop and they'll like bounce off and they'll stop and they'll go, they'll go backwards and then stop and then it'll be, they'll be like an inch too far apart for me to hook on the pins. Can you imagine trying to hook on these pins? Like, you got to stand between these cars that are smushing together. <laughs> right? And stick a pin in there. Like, yeah. I think that's why they all had less than... <laughs> less than uh, complete digits. Fewer than ten fingers. Alright. And we're going to go like that. We're going to do this. Okay, we're going to let those roll because we're going to order two more. Whoops. And we're going to call this number seven. And then we're going to order one more. And I like that one, so we're going to do that one as number eight. All right. And then we're going to take these, put the brakes off. And then I think we need to run down to the other ones. Yeah, we need to get down there quick. Just in time. You can do it. The other one's going to hit it. Come on. There it is. And there. Cool. Okay. Two more. And then we can be done with that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bonus episode uh, where I do a little bit more stuff. I think we need to bring more lumber down. And so I'll probably put the other train back in. We'll bring the lumber down. And, uh, let's go like, can we fit it here? Yeah, good. All right, yeah, what we'll do is we'll bring the lumber down and, um, there. And, uh, grab the, um, 
more lumber down to the, the ironworks to fill it up because it takes a whole lot and we can't fit very many on the, each train. So I'm going to do the, not the lumber, the, um, the steel. It's the steel. It uses like four of those per thing and we can only get like three on each car. So it's a lot. Oops. So yeah, I'm going to bring the steel down. We're going to do another steel run. We'll put the the engine on this and then we should be good to go for episode 36. So yeah, that's going to be it for episode 35. Join me in episode 36 and we'll see you then. Later.